So today I'm going to add a new 3D printer to the other two 3D printers that I already have. The Easy 3 X1 3D printer coming up on Sahari 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to reviews and many other cool things you can do with 3D printing. If you're new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I will put every social media link I have in the description of this video. And you can, if you want, support this channel as well. The Patreon link I will put in the description of this video. If you are looking for a nice 3D printer besides this one, then you can also find some Ender trees or some other 3D printers in the description of this video as an affiliate link. So like I mentioned in the intro today, we are going to unbox this 3D printer from Easy 3 X1 3D printer. And this one is in orange. I have it also in black, in green and in blue. It's a small 3D printer. When it was January, I saw it on AliExpress, but you can also buy it on, on Amazon. I will put the affiliate link in the description of this video. It's a very tiny 3D printer. It has a building plate of 100 by 100 and the printing height is 100 as well. So you cannot print very large objects with it. I thought it was 12 by 12 by 12, but it was 10 by 10 by 10. No problem. The calibration cube I can always print with this 3D printer. So, um, yeah. So, I ordered this printer three weeks ago. I have it for two weeks in, in my home. It was standing right here somewhere. So, let's stop the chit chat and let's unbox this 3D printer. It's a very tiny box, as you can see, it's not that big and it's an easy to install 3D printer. You don't have to worry that much. It's a little kit, but not a big kit. So an instruction manual, manual. 3D printer beginners must read. So you have a USB SD card reader with some firmware installation guides some other things that you might need then the power cord cable some PLA filament it's less than 10 meters I can tell a little screwdriver a holder a spool holder it's packed like this, very tiny, a very small USB cable, always handy, especially when it is short, a bit too short. So spool holder, be aware, on this spool holder you can only have a spool of maximum 250 grams. So the ones that I'm using I cannot use, so I have to look for smaller oral sulfament. Also two screws that are the only screws you are going to need so hey that's in handy. Some styrofoam packaging. So then you have the second part. So also this we are going to put on the side. So this is the 3D printer. It's easy to assemble. It shouldn't be that difficult because you put it in like this. The screws on it and you're done. So we are going to add the screws. Here's a little connector. You have to connect it. And this is the printer. We are going to add the spool holder. The cool thing about this 3D printer is that it's all injected molded plastic. So it's not that 
very cheap in plastics. And all set. So now we are going to hook it up on the power. Something like that. And there you have it. In less than 10 minutes, you can set this 3D printer up. Let's home it. On this box, you have four buttons. Don't be scared. It's not that, that's very, it's uh, my first thought that when I saw it, hey, where's the display? But I found out that if you are going to use this 3D printer, when you are adding a file to the SD card, the 3D printer takes the last changed model to 3D print. So if you have 100 SDL files on it, like I have with the Inmove robot, for example, it always takes the last one and you cannot choose for a different kind of one. So that's the downside for it. This 3D printer, when leveled, you can let your children uh, print some little figurines or some other toys on this 3D printer for their school or some other, uh, some other things. So first we are go going to home. So, so you need to, to level the bed first and then after that you need to load the filament. I'm going to press the play button. Three seconds and then it's going higher. Once again. And it's going higher. So now we are going to load some filament. And before I do that, I don't want to ruin my print bed. So I put some little post-it and going to load some filament. I already used some other type of filament. So I'm going to do this one. So, oh man, what a tangle. We are going to use the plus button. Now it's going to, it's flashing really fast. When it is done with heating, then it's going to start. So we wait for that and then we can push some filament through. The heating up from the nozzle is something like one minute. So it's not that you have to wait a few hours. No, it's just one minute. Like you can see, now it's done. And it keeps running until everything is through. Just a second. So it stopped with uh, running through. So now we're, we are going to start the print. First we do home. And now we press the play button. So now we press again the play button. Oh. So it's going to home. And now it starts to print. Let's go into the time lapse.
So this is the print that came out of the 3D printer. It has some blobs, there's some stringing. I did it, I did print some other cat with different kind of filament, filament that I usually use and I see a difference in the quality. So I will show you a little b-roll of that. Uh, okay, so what do I think about this 3D printer? It's a nice 3D printer. It is very compact, so you can put it next to your computer on your desk. Kids can use it on their desk. And it's a very simple and easy to use 3D printer. Besides the fact that you still need to level your bed, uh, I'm also going to check how, how often that you need to re-level your bed. And the control box is very simple and easy to use. When you press the home button, it's going to home. Um, and then you have the two buttons, the plus and the minus for loading filament and releasing the filament. And then you have the multiple use play button. Press it once and then after a while, it's going to print. Um, and also when you are holding it for a few seconds, three seconds or more, then your gantry is going one centimeter higher. So that being said, it's a nice printer and I am definitely going to do some upgrades on it on this channel. So let's make some fun with this little 3D printer. Well, that being said, thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to Zachary 3D Prints, and I will see you next time. Let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints. Bye-bye.